I have the best weekend ever planned. James Franco's having a giant party. <laughs> yes! This place is beautiful, man. This place is like a piece of me. You two just stepped inside me. You let us both come inside you. Yeah. Boom. How are you guys? Very good. Yeah. How are you? Oh my god, I just felt like this is the end for me this morning because like the plane, we were up at four. I was like, I'm so dying to meet you. Um, absolutely loved it. Thank it's you. It's hysterical. Thank you. How'd you, keep a, how'd you keep a straight face doing it though, shooting it? Because it was just one liner after one liner. Uh, it wasn't easy, honestly. If it, you watch carefully, most people didn't keep a straight face. Yeah, they're, That's they're, true. they're smiling a little too that much. That is true. You see that people are not holding it together that well. <laughs> and what about Michael Cera? I mean, how will he ever work again after that scene? It's brilliant. Now, I know we don't want to give too much away. I think he'll get nominated for an Oscar. Well, we have, we have no problem saying that he plays a cokehead, sex-obsessed maniac. Is he yes. like that in real life? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, yes. Is most, he really? Most Canadians are. The movie yeah. was an intervention. We thought if he saw how he was portrayed, then he would snap out oh of it, God. but it didn't work. It didn't work. No. My People sister... gave him too much acclaim for it. <laughs> oh, I love Canada. My sister's after just moving there, by the way, to really? Toronto. Yeah. Nice. Amazing, amazing. So really, like, getting all these people for the party scene, was that impossible? No. No, it was really, it was really easy getting everyone for the party scene, really, because we only went to people who we knew were going to be down to do it, besides Rihanna and Emma Watson, which was just a stab in the dark that just happened to work out, and we can't believe it still. But yeah. besides them, we just went to friends that we know who we knew were going to come and just play ball. That was so weird that Rihanna was in it, because like, I just saw her in Dublin, by the way. She is just crazy hot and so hot in this. Did she just jump on board straight away? She did. <laughs> it was kind of shocking. Uh, but yeah, we heard she was a fan of our movies, and that's the only reason we approached her in the first place. Like. I, yeah, we do not assume like massive pop stars want to work with us <laughs> <laughs> unprompted. So uh, yeah, we but read. Bruno Mars tweeted he liked the it's movie. It's true. So uh, I saw that. Yeah, He's so, so cute. We should have killed him. I Ish. know. Why Next didn't you? It's true. Next time. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, she she was super game. It was very exciting. She's, she's so hot. She is. In her concert, have you seen her concert? I have not seen her concert. Oh my god! I've seen her perform live at like award shows a few times. Of course, you'd be at all those, wouldn't yeah. you? <laughs> and you guys have actually worked together for years. Like you in school, right? That's when the partnership happened. Yeah. That must be crazy. All those years. Are you are you still friends now? Is this just an act that you're this actually is, this friendly? This is just a working relationship. We each other. We don't really talk much. We oh, fight a lot. Fight like a lot. Do Keith you? Keith and Mick. Really fight a lot, do you? No, no not at all. Not at all. <laughs> do they? I'm sure they had some tips over the years, but I bet they're oh, good buddies. Like Joe Perry and Steven Tyler, do they fight? Like Slash and Axel Rose. Ah, they yeah. Each other. yeah. They, that, that's that's part of the analogy. thing, like, yeah. you know. Um, one time I interviewed Jonah Hill and I kept calling him Seth. Ooh, he hates that. He <laughs> <laughs> but at the end, it, it was all red then, you know, real hot. Yeah. And the mic was like glaring off me, and so I was like, uh, J- Jonah, I mean, Seth, I mean, and he oh, goes no. like, it's Jonah. It's no, Jonah. He, does, he doesn't like Oh, he's that. so funny, isn't he? So, you guys working again, um, you're, you're working, obviously, you never stop working together, but I know that you're going to be working again with James Franco. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're making a movie called The Interview, where Franco plays a reporter, and Seth is his producing partner, and they get a chance to interview the dictator of North Korea. And wow. the CIA asks them to murder him. Yes. Oh Assassinate God. is the word. I like murder. Murder. Like murder. <laughs> it does make it sound crazier. <laughs> murder him. That is essentially what it is. Yeah. How do you guys come up with these mad ideas? We have this barrel with balls. Yeah. <laughs> fill them with random words. <laughs> we need a verbalizer like David Bowie. I saw that oh. in his exhibit. <laughs> oh my God. The last time I met you, you weren't married, so congratulations. Thank you so much. You're married now. Yeah. Guys, I know this is the end for the interview now. This is the end. We loved it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. This is my king, this is my lane, get out of the way, what you want, hun? What the hell? Oh my god! Emma Watson showed up. Give me everything you have to drink! There are six of us, you cannot rob us! Oh, yeah. Hermione just stole all of our- What you want, son? 